Welcome. How is everyone tonight? Wow, that was pretty quick. We're already on YouTube. Now we're just trying to get on Facebook. Just give me a minute. Go back in and see if that works. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all doing good? Y'all excited to see the new Ladybug Birdhouse? I'm excited to show it to you. We'll get started in just a minute here. I want to see if I can get the comments on Facebook. So if you have any questions, I can see what you're asking. Oh, here we go. Giving me fits again. There we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, we decided to extend Ladybug week and make it Ladybug two weeks. So this is our new birdhouse. Now I already took a small video of the pieces and which ones you paint because, hey Judith, let me just move that that way. There we go. Actually, oh, hold on. Sorry. What I did was I took a video of which pieces you paint front or back, whatever. Okay. So this is our house. I already put the birdhouse together and I already stained it with our Waverly antique wax. Now there is four, four sides. Well, one, two, three, four, the front and the back. And then on top of the front piece, this bigger piece goes. I already dropped it and broke it, but that's okay because we got to, we'll fix it. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, um, I just got done painting the roof. So we're going to put the roof on it. There's several pieces to this. This is the front of the house that will actually go on here and there'll be two pieces this piece you only have to paint the front corner because that little black is going to show through and then that piece goes there so i'm going to show you how to finish putting it together hi monica i already put um these pieces together and i want to put the um roof on it this is a big leaf and this big leaf is going to go right there because see you've got the little hole here for the birdhouse and you've got the little thing for the little piece that's going to stick out however i do not want to put this if i put this outside i don't want birds in it so i meant to bring in a piece to put over that all I have is my little button bow holder well maybe we can find a big enough cork to fit in there but that that's my plan so we're gonna put this on the side here now there are two little holes on each side of the roof here and here that is for the wire so Let's go ahead and start assembling this thing. You have slots for the roof angle and you have slots for the rest of the body that we're also gonna put on there. This is gonna go on the 
roof right there. And then this other part is going to go on the front. So, where did I put it? There it is. Whoa. And then you have the front part. And this is the ladybug's face. They put the outline here of where all the pieces go. So this does not need to be painted. This does not need to be painted. That is the only corner on that one. And this needs no paint. But like I said, if you purchase this, I will have an instructional instructional video on how which parts get painted and what side doesn't. So what I think we're going to do first is this is my first time putting this together. So I think we're going to going to glue this and I'm just going to glue here so I'm gluing on the in indentation there and with this one I'm going to glue the tab And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of set it on here because after I glue the two parts together, then I'm going to be adding the wire. Well, don't tell me you're not going to go for me. Well, let's see if we can just do this there kind of hold it in the position we're going to need it, the angle. Sorry, this is going to take a minute. <laughs> Why are you not? I have to figure out a way to move this closer because they, they attack my back door. And then if I have it out there and the birds are coming towards the house, they, they dive bomb people. <laughs> so I could put it out in the yard. I could put it out on the deck. That'd be no problem. But that's why I didn't want to, to do that. So I have this green floral wire that I'm just going to... Put through the holes here. So if I hang a hook outside, whoa, Nelly, don't want to drop that thing again. And this is using our old wood. If any of you started receiving the new wood, I'm sure you're pleasantly surprised how strong it is. Yeah, see, I have a store, and they come in that door, and they, they attack people. <laughs> then they don't come back. <laughs> so, come on. There we go. Poor hubby had a rough time with this design, but yes, we don't have any like that, but the one house we lived in, we did have that problem. So I'm just going to twist this around. So there's one hanger. The time to put your wire in is before you put your roof on, for sure. Oh, come on. That's going to fall apart on me. I should do. I've used this before. 
don't know what that was, but something was flopping. <laughs> That's creepy. So I'm going to put a little piece across there to kind of hold it for me. Yeah, it's funny. They see their reflection and they just think there's another bird in the area. Oh, I had a customer request a bunny, purple bunny sign. So I have the sign to show you. It says, Hoppy Easter. She has an all purple wreath that she's making. It's really a deep purple. It's really nice. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Because now we got to get all these lined up. And that lines up pretty good. That's funny. You know how some days you just have patience and other days you just don't have patience? This is one of those days. So we're just going to let that hang there because I got this where I want it. So we're just going to add some here. And we're going to get this in place first and then put the other one on. All right. I keep sticking to it. Okay, that's fun. So now, and the only reason I have it crooked like that, this, the leaf drops below. So <laughs> I thought you were at a meeting. <laughs> she couldn't wait to see the bird else. <laughs> Nancy just popped on. She sneaked on. <laughs> I knew you couldn't hold out. <laughs> okay, we're going to try this again. So let's put a little glue up in here again. I made a video, Nance, that I'll post later that shows where all the pieces go. I mean, what color you paint and which ones get painted and the backs of the others that don't get painted. Okay, we're all good there. So come on now. We got one little holdout down here. There we go. Yay! All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm just going to tack it down on the back. I use the, um, oh, I'm using the Tuscan teal for the roof. I'll have to check that out, Nance, because we have looked everywhere for the chimes and I can't, I can't get them bigger than what I got from Amazon and they're too little. I probably should have get the underside of that. Okay. So that's, that's the roof. And there's our little hanger. So if you got one of those hook hangers, you can stick the hook right through there. All right. So now we're going to put the back wings in. Oh, before we put the back wings in, Let's glue our spots on. So, you can put these anywhere you want. I already painted. The red I used was Americana, and it's Santa red. I used black for the dots. Stay there. And I used... The Kelly Green for the leaf. And we're also going to make the leaf a little spotty. So we're going to be doing that. All right, so there's her spots on that side. This side has the smaller side, smaller wing, has a flat surface on here. That one goes down towards here. these 
these out of the way. And then I use the antique wax to um, stain. All right, now this piece here will be glued together. So I painted the back side because that's going to show on the back of the house. And then I painted the front side. So now we got to glue these two together. So we're just going to put a little everywhere. And we're going to do a little here too. So we want to glue that to the slot in the roof. And then there's a bigger slot up top here that that is going to sit on the roof. Yeah, I haven't even posted a picture of the wind chime. I'm going to put a little glue here because I think that's going to help with it too. So I'm just following like the middle of the um, little tab that's there. Except I didn't need to go down that far with it, did I? So there's the top, there's the wings. Hey, Rachel. Okay. And I really should have painted underneath here. So before I go any further, I'm going to take the stain and stain under there. So that part will be done. Let's take a diaper wipe. I will have trouble reaching that once I put the other stuff on there. So no time like the present. So you probably should paint the underside of your roof. That like that. There we go. The roof was the last piece we had to cut because we had some issues with the file. So that just got painted before dinner. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to this piece that sits in the front. Now with this piece, I told you the only thing you had to paint was this little corner up here because that's going to go there. Okay. And then this is going to go here. But what I have to do is I kind of have to set this in place first because the ladybug's hand is going to be here. So I want to make sure that I'm getting everything in the right spot. That looks like it's good. It's kind of like a 12 piece puzzle. <laughs> and this one, like I said, you didn't have to paint anything on the back, just that little corner up top. All right, so let's get this in place. Make sure that's in place. Whoops, a little bit down. Getting a little ahead of myself, too high. There. So then we can lift this up. And then we can put this one in place and work on her face. Isn't she cute, though? 
I can't wait to show you the ladybug door hanger for Wednesday because she is my own design and she is too cute. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll put a little glue here, but then I'll kind of glue around her. Like I said, there were only a certain, a handful of colors used for this. And don't worry that her face isn't painted because it will be once we put all this on her. There's her eyes. So this is the part that goes up here above the eyes. And... Where is my black? I'm coloring down here a little further. I colored some and I knew I was going to need to do some more. So, actually, I think we're just going to paint it. I think it'll be better. Thank you, Judith. She is. And honestly, this girl took four sheets of wood. Now, sheets of wood are 12 by 16. I think it's right up there with the horse. <laughs> but she took a lot of wood. And we're now using the birch. This is still the old stuff that I'm using. That's why I had that happen. I dropped her. So that should be good. Okay. So now we're going to glue this on. Yeah, that's better. I definitely needed to come down a little more with the paint. Now this would be really cute if you used it similar to a lantern and you could put a little bit of um, styrofoam on the top and then decorate it as though you would a lantern. All right, and this is going to go here. I think I went down too far. Well, nope, I'm good. Now, when I did the eyes, I painted them black, but when I painted the white, I got a little white on the black. Simple fix. I just took the paint marker and colored where I spilled over. <laughs> so, and I used the Adirondack white paint on the white face because I, that chalk paint, I cannot get, get any, any brighter of a white than that Adirondack. Okay, so there's a bigger one and a small one. The bigger one goes with the big hole. The little one goes with the little hole. Easy peasy. Why it does that every now and then it stops putting messages up. Thank you. All right, then we've got her nose. It kind of resembles a jelly bean. That's going to go on here like that. Then we have her mouth. Duh! I forgot to paint her face. <laughs> I knew I had something else to do on her. 
So we better do that now. Let's get my artist loft. Um, this is port rose portrait or portrait pink. I'm thinking, why does she look so woody looking? <laughs> Sorry. Come on. What's the matter? I can't get a clean paintbrush here. And I'm probably going to leave her mouth off because I know this is going to take a second coat. So I will be leaving the mouth off and then painting it when I put a second coat of this on there. Now for that, I think we're going to use a Q-tip to get in there. That'd be easier. And then when it's dry, I will actually take some of the oil sticks I have. Now this I can paint over because you're not going to see that part anyhow. I mean, you're going to cover it over with the mouth. But what I'll do is I'll take the oil stick I have them in here somewhere they're like an oil crown and they really are great for like putting blush on anything Now she's starting to look like a real ladybug. She wasn't. I have to give my husband credit. This this file really caused him a lot of crazy. Some of the files we buy and some of the files we make and this is one we bought and it's the most I've ever paid for a file and we had nothing but problems so we had to fix a lot and it's not the designer's fault she uses a Glowforge and we use a Thunder so you're gonna have issues when you use different ones they don't accept the file the right way. See, now she'll look really cute. And that may be okay with that, too. All right, I'm going to glue the perch. And let that set up. Because that's the last thing that's going to go on. So... Where I put all my irons. There they are. There we go. Whoop. All right, now before I put the leaf on, and this other hand's like going to go over in here, before I put that on, I kind of want to give this leaf some variation in color. So here's what we're going to do. And grab one of these because I already used the Kelly green on the bottom but we want to we want to make it look real so I always get it all over my hands so we're just gonna put these on I'm gonna put a little on here this is a lighter shade 
This is Fresh Foliage by Folk Art. And then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take a dry one. Okay. And it's just going to put some variation in here. And I don't want it really wet, so that's why I'm dabbing it so much. Because I want it to look natural. I only have one coat of the Kelly Green on here. If you're asking me anything on Facebook, oh, sorry, I will go back. None of the comments seem to be working again. I wouldn't use this, the diaper wipe on there, because that's just going to make it runny. You want it, you kind of want it dry and like tacky. And actually, there's some folds in the paper towel here, which is adding even a look of um, like green. Uh, you know, you know how the leaves have those little um, veins in them. That's what's kind of re. re that what, that's what it reminds me of. I'm not dragging, I'm just dabbing. See how you can see the, the little veins in the bottom, like around in here? All right. So now we are gonna glue this in place. I take that off, we don't need that right now. The object is don't force it, just kind of start here and line it up with that first. See, I can't really glue the birdhouse itself, and I don't want to, I don't think I want to go down below here because that hangs over the edge. So basically we want to stick to above that edge. This will remain on it and this will too. I think I'm going to go on that side like that. So I'm working at the hand first, and then when I get that in place, then I want to make sure that my hole is in the right spot and the slot for the perch. There we go. Then we have her other hand, which goes there. So, looks like I don't want to go past here because that hangs over. All right, so. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Do you just love her? Isn't she adorable? Hi, Nanny Dot. It does, doesn't it? Like I said, I search high and low for stuff that's different and unique. And see, what I can do now is I can use this pattern and make my own. I can make others. So there's that. I'm kind of thinking maybe she doesn't need another coat of, of the blush. But now where's my crowns? I feel an office cleaning coming on. Not there, not there. Well... Then we're gonna dirty it. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna use this. And we're gonna get most of it off the brush. It's already mixed in with some of the, um, the stuff we put. See how I'm getting it drier and drier? She needs a little rouge. And if you get it too dark, you can always tone it back down. Let's go ahead and put her mouth in place. All right. Don't get so kicked up in there. Now, I kind of feel like this is a little too red. So I'm just going to rub it with a paper towel and take some of it off. And if I needed to, I could also put a little lighter color on there too. Look at her. She's all done. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. There's another part I have to paint. <laughs> Is the back of the leaf, and that's no problem. I'll just put a little painter's tape here and paint that right up. But isn't she adorable? They have a bumblebee one too. A peacock one too. I just think she is adorable. She is going to be listed for $32 unpainted. Um, if somebody wants it painted, yes, you just have to ask. We can always paint the birdhouse for you, but then it's going to cost a little more. So there we go. So I've got to do the back of this with green, the back of the stem with green, but everything is done. So, trying to get the tape off. And I used the Tuscan, what did I say it was? Tuscan teal for the roof. So, it's not listed in the shop. It will be listed tomorrow. But check it out. What bird would not want to go in there? All I'm doing is try to take the threaded, the twisted part and put it down in the bottom, in the hole. She has the cutest chicken one too. Oh my gosh. Isn't it? It is the cutest birdhouse I've ever seen. That face. And see how the see how the the painting on the leaf how it looks 
I bet you if you took plastic wrap and bunched it all up, you'd get a bunch of lines in it when you paint. There you go. There's our ladybug birdhouse. So we will be showing you the ladybug door hanger. We're just going to put that there because guess what I found? I found more signs. Eek. I know, right? She is one of a kind. I mean, now she'll be one of a few. <laughs> But really, she she is really adorable. All right, so I did show you the one I made for my customer. This will be going in tomorrow. I would, if it's going to be outside, I definitely would use the um, the shellac that we use, the Zinzer shellac. I definitely, I already sprayed the pieces I painted, um, so. Now that everything's in place, I will shoot it again. But I will try to keep it away from the eyes. I found that shellac is yellowing some of the white paint. So I would definitely, you know, I shot it real light outside and I'll probably cover this up and then shoot from here down and get the roof because I hadn't done the roof yet. Um, but I did all that before dinner. All right, so this and this will be in the shop tomorrow. So I have just a little bit of painting left to do. Boy, did I find the signs. <laughs> and again, everything's $4. Now, if anybody's interested in this one, this one is a 10 inch or 12 inch. The only problem with this sign See how we've got a little white on the side? The print was just a little too small. So that's one that's for sale for these, these, these will be three. So this is my um, chocolate bunny recipe, peanut butter eggs. Now this says Modster on it. I don't think anybody wants that one because I was actually personalizing these. So here we've got two that say peanut butter eggs and three. I now have a bunny and eggs that match this sign. So this sign, these signs are three, the other signs are four. So if you see anything you want, let me know. This is a 12 by seven oval. Perfect for Ladybug Week. I see one tiny scratch. It's already got the holes in it. So there's that one. Let me see if I can just... I still can't get on here. I'm just typing some letters to see if we can... Nope. Still not showing comments. Oh, I am so sorry, Facebook. There we go. Okay. Hey, Joanne. Hi, Lucy. Welcome. What'd you think of the, the birdhouse? Now we've got signs on sale. So anybody's interested, shout it out. This says, welcome to our patch. This is one I made last year. That's a bunny, and another bunny, and another bunny. This side, locally owned carrot patch. That's another one. Be your unique self. Oops, upside down. That one's $4. couple in here. That has some scratches on it. I wouldn't sell that. That has a scratch on it. I wouldn't sell that. If anybody's interested, let me know. Got it. This one, Monica. Right? 
Got her in the ladybug mood. <laughs> you even got the holes, Monica. Punched in it already. I don't see. I just see a tiny, tiny scratch. Yes, got it. If anybody wants these and they want to pay the shipping, it's just a little tiny scratch. I'll, I'll check those out. I got more ladybugs. Let me check them first. No. No, I wouldn't sell that one. They both have scratches. I thought I pulled it out of the good pile. But if you're buying signs, you'll take them. Which... See what happened? I had this... What? What I call it. It's like a Teflon sheet. And the Teflon sheet goes between the print and the heat press. Well, it had a loose thread and the loose thread came out in the picture. So I don't know that I would sell this one. It's kind of, it, the finish is not good. Okay. All right. So that's Monica. This is Monica. Monica, I'm just going to throw this one in there for free, okay? This got scratches all over it. I swore I took from the good pile. Now I've got to check everything. This one looks pretty good. I don't see any. I see one little... No, that's something on it. One little scratch on that one. Do you want that one too? I'll give you that one too. I'll put these two in for free. And if you don't like them, you didn't pay anything for them. I'll let you be the judge. Love Bark. This one looks a little hazy. Not liking it. This one's got a scratch. Not liking it. If you're buying any and use no. No. Um, if you're buying any and you see any that I put on this side and you want them for free. That's fine. Nothing bugs a lady. This is kind of looks spotty. Like the finish is not, not clear. It's a little spotty. I wonder if you like took wax to this, like and if that would help any. That's going in that pile. This one's got a scratch or two, and it's a little hazy. That one's gone in that pile. So, like I said, if you see any you want to buy. We got another cooped up. This one's fine. Feeling a little cooped up. And this has a big thread. This was our other one. When cardinals appear, angels are near. That's disappointing because I had a bunch. I thought that, hey, you guys are really going to love them. So we have the peanut butter egg. And on my, my uh, Etsy store, I have the matching bunny and eggs that go with it. Anybody want one of these? 
bunnies, peacock. Welcome to my patch, our patch. And there's another one. Okay. I will have more on Wednesday. I picked out a pile. But I only brought half of them in here. Because <laughs> I thought, oh, that's too many. This file of the sun has some scratches too. It's a shame. Yeah, okay. You got it. I love the colors in this. Like, I had some ribbon last year that matched this perfectly. So you got it. They were only three. So let me put a three on there. Good. Did you get your grandson the other day? <laughs> Did you get checked out? Okay. All right. Well, those will still be around if somebody decides later. And if anybody decides on the other ones, you buy one, you get those free. All right. I think we're done. And like I said, these two will be in the shop tomorrow. Aren't they cute? I'm sorry, I'm getting the red glare of the ring light in there. There we go, this way. The fuzzy bunnies. All right, I appreciate you joining me. It's still Ladybug Week. Wait till you see my Ladybug door hanger. Um, what, what do I call it? Design. You know, you see those wicker ones. Everybody buys those wicker ones and it has fabric in the back or it has that um, real cheap wicker. You're going to like this one. This is way better. <laughs> I don't know. Did I send you a picture of it, Judy? I don't think I did. Or I might have. I think I sent you a picture of this. Oh, and we have a hockey game. We made a hockey game that has little pucks, and so that'll be listed. So I'll try and show that. Oh, I did it. Okay, cool. Now I got something to share. <laughs> all right, you all have a great night. Thank you so much. I love you all.